Hello. It's nice to see you again. For today's lesson, we will learn to define and identify the solute and the solvent in a solution. Let's begin. Identify the following mixtures. Tell me if the following mixtures are solid to solid combination. Solid to liquid combination and liquid to liquid combination. Pebbles in the aquarium. Solid to liquid. A box filled with toys. Solid to solid. A mixture of ethanol and water. Liquid to liquid. A basket of fruits. Solid to solid. Cereal and milk. Solid to liquid. Now, let's recall our previous lesson. Last time, we learned about mixture and its two kinds. The uniform mixture or homogeneous mixture and the non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous mixture. In homogeneous mixture, the materials are blended so well that they cannot be separated manually. While in heterogeneous mixture, the materials can be easily identified, and they can be separated manually. Let's experiment. I have here a spoonful of salt and a glass of water. What do you think will happen to the salt if you mix it with water? Will the salt disappear? Or will the salt still be there? Let's see. The salt did not disappear. It dissolved in water. This kind of mixture is called solution. Let's elaborate. Solution is a homogeneous mixture, where the particles of the other substance spread evenly through the particles of the other substance. Look at the particles of sugar and water before they were mixed. When we mixed the salt into the water, the particles of the salt spread evenly through the particles of the water. The substance that dissolves is the solute, while the substance that is used to dissolve the solute is the solvent. If we combined them, we formed a solution. Coffee powder, sugar and tea powder are examples of solute. Water is known as the universal solvent because it can dissolve many substances. Solution can be a solid, liquid or gaseous phase. Solid solution is a solid state solution of one or more solutes in a solvent. There are solid solutions which can be in any phase and a solvent in a solid phase. The mixture of silver and copper is an example of solid solution. The copper makes the silver harder and more durable. And because of that, it is much better to work with. It is used to make jewelry, expensive tableware, and utensils or silverware. Another example is the steel and bronze combination. It is used for making coins, appliances parts, and many more. Next is liquid solution. 
It consists of solute in any phase dissolved in a liquid. Making a tea beverage is an example of this solution. Did you know that drinking tea is beneficial and it may help improve your health? Another example is the mixture of vinegar and water. It can be used as a multi-purpose cleaner. Lastly, the gaseous solution. It consists of gas solute and gas solvent. Example of this is air. Now let's talk about miscible and immiscible liquids. When two liquids are mixed with each other in all proportions, they are said to be miscible. Vinegar and water are miscible liquids. On the other hand, if two liquids form a layer and do not blend, they are considered immiscible like the oil and water. There are factors that affect the formation of mixtures. First is the temperature of the liquid or heating. Hot water has molecules that move rapidly and come in contact more frequently with the solute particles. Most solid substances dissolve faster in hot water than they do in cold water. Second is agitation of solution. Stirring is a method of dissolving substance by using mechanical force. It could be manually or using machines with a stirring rod. Through stirring, the particles are moving rapidly, which hastens the contact between the surface of solute and solvent particles. Third is the size of solid materials. Powdering or pulverizing is done by making the particles of solid smaller to make them dissolve faster when mixed with the solvent. Fine table salt dissolves faster than rock salt. Now, let's have a short quiz. Read each statement and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Which of the following dissolves in hot water? A. Chocolate powder B. Nail polish C. Oil D. Rock 2. What made up a solution? A. Solute and solvent B. Solute only C. Solid, liquid and gas D. Letter A and C 3. Why is water called the universal solvent? A. It can be found anywhere B. It can dissolve many substances. C. It can be mixed with anything. D. It is colorless and odorless. 4. What is a solute? A. The substance that does the dissolving in a solution. B. The mixing of different substances. C. The factor that affect the formation of mixtures. D the substance that is dissolved into the solution. 5. Some solid materials can be mixed with liquid to form a solution. Which of the following material is not a solute? A. Creamer B. Milk powder C. Pearl D. Sugar Here are the answers. Number 1 is A. Number 2 is A. Number 3 is B. Number 4 is D. Number 5 is C. Let's remember. Solution is a homogeneous mixture that is made up of solute and solvent. Solute is the substance that dissolves. 
while solvent is the substance that is used to dissolve solute. Congratulations! You can now define and identify the solute and the solvent in a solution. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button. Share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel.